everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, my name is Seppi. And in today's video, I thought I'd show you guys my everyday summery makeup. I haven't done a makeup tutorial on my channel in ages. And to be honest, my skin has gotten so much better in the past few months. I've been working on it. I've only got this little pimple coming through now because I fell asleep with my makeup on a few nights ago, which is really bad. Don't do that. But um, I don't wear as heavy as makeup, especially in summer. So I thought I'd show you guys my easy summer makeup routine that I do every day. Before we go ahead, make sure you subscribe to me down below if you're new here. And give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So the first thing that's most important to my makeup routine is my music playlist. <laughs> um, so I usually just add tunes to my library. But when I went away last week to Cannes with my... That's one of my best friends, April. Um, she showed me this um, like playlist that's already made on Apple Music called It's Lit. And I literally just shuffle from that. Um, so I love to get ready with music on it. gets me ready for like the day and all this. So um, yeah, I love this playlist. But real talks, the first step in my makeup routine is moisturizer. I've already done this when I came out of the shower. I just use this simple moisturizer, um, it's the age resisting day cream and then I will spritz my face with a bit of the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. This is just to cool down my face because it is 100 degrees outside, literally London is like 30 degrees, um, it's like warmed up, it's like the weather that I had when I was in Cannes. And this is um, the Too Faced Hangover Primer Spray. I came to buy the Hangover Primer but I was in the Sephora in France and I accidentally got given this instead of the primer that I pointed to and I actually like it, it's not that, it's not that bad. So I spray like four or five on my face. All right, maybe a bit more. And then I just fan my face to make sure it sets in. And this is meant to prime your face, it's meant to hydrate it and it's meant to set as well. I personally wouldn't use this to set because it feels like it's got like a bit of a moisturizer in it and I don't want a moisturizer um, on top of my setting because I feel like I'll make my look, makeup look really cakey. Whilst I'm waiting for my primer to set into my skin, I usually just wash my beauty blender. I've already washed it, obviously there's some stuff you can't get off. Um, but I wash it with soap and um, rinse it out. Next, I'm gonna grab my concealer. This is the uh, Maybelline Instant Anti-Age Eraser in the color light. And I just twist it with the lid still on and I put it on any imperfections I might have. I'm a little bit red in places from the sun and then I just literally dab that in with my beauty blender. Um, I went yesterday to Selfridges to buy a new tinted moisturiser, the one that I'm going to be using today, which is the Laura Mercier um, Oil Free Tinted Moisturiser in the colour Sand, and they literally colour matched me again and everything, and I was so good to go, and I was at the till, and then she goes, we have no more sand. So I have to grab one before I go away again. Um, I'm going away this week, I'm going to Istanbul and then I'm going to Tehran and then from Tehran I believe our family is going away um, for like a week and then I come back to London because I start uni at the end of July so I'm kind of looking forward to it, it's all really jam-packed but I got to spend the first like few weeks um, of London pretty much here like I was here in the first couple weeks of my summer my summer started like mid um, like beginning of May and I was here for pretty much most of May and then in June I went to Portugal and then I went to Riga for my sister's graduation I vlogged both of those then I went to Cannes which I've also vlogged and I was in London in between and now I'll pretty much be away for the end of my summer um, by the way I put five dots around my beauty blender of this tinted moisturizer and then I dab it all around my face um, but yeah, I got to be in London for most of my summer, um, not most of my summer, uh, for most of like the first half of my summer I was here, so the last half is pretty much when I won't be here, but considering I start at the end of July, um, all of August for me counts as summer and I'll be, I'll be here even though I'll have uni and placements, like it won't be, I don't think, as serious in the first month, it's just about a case of getting used to the like whole uni routine as well. Um, Make sure you blend it all the way onto your ears and down your neck. Just make sure you haven't missed anywhere. Oh, the weather is so hot, I'm actually boiling. I would film this in my room, but my room is literally just 
like a mess because I'm like half unpacked from can and then half trying to pack for like the rest of summer. <laughs> and it's really difficult because obviously Iran is an Islamic Republic. I'm just going back in with the same um, concealer and I'm gonna be using it as highlight now. Yeah, so Iran's an Islamic Republic, so we basically can't, um, like we have to wear hijab and like relatively covered up clothes. I'll show you guys, I'll probably vlog Tehran, so I'll show you guys what I end up wearing um, and what my sisters end up wearing. But um, whereas like Istanbul and all the other places we'll be going to from Iran are obviously not Islamic Republic and we're allowed like 30 kg baggage, so 30 kg for like four different types of trips. There's gonna be three different, type, type, two different types of trips, I don't know. But basically for different types of vacations, it's gonna be quite difficult to pack that all in one suitcase for pretty much a whole month. I'm literally just dabbing this all in under my eyes. I look up when I'm dabbing under my eyes just to stop any creasing. As you can see, it's actually like not that heavy of a coverage. And when I come close, like it's gonna look like I'm 10 million different colours, but when I contour as well, you'll see that it's not that bad. Also, I'm obsessed with my the way that my eyebrow lady does my eyebrows nowadays. Um, I like them quite straight and then arched. Um, I'm really big on like symmetrical eyebrows, and there was a time when my eyebrow lady changed and I had like high-low eyebrows and it got to me so badly. So next up I'm gonna grab my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick. It's a foundation stick but I use it as contour and this is in the colour chestnut and I'm going to play my tunes. This is my favourite right now. So whereas I'd usually stop here with the amount of contour because it's summer and I'm kind of tanned, um, I don't know if you can see my tan lines, because um, I'm kind of tanned I like to look extra bronze. So I'll pretty much just like add a little bit of contour just to where I've already contoured, just to be extra warm. Then I got my Real Techniques brush and I'm just gonna blend this all out. Next up I'm gonna moisturize my lips with Moisture Plus Carmex Lip Balm, and this is in the shade, I think, Cherry. But it's so old, I have no idea. I like it because it's got a little tint to it, but it's basically like a lip balm. And my lips get like kind of dry in summer, so um, yeah, I'm always moisturizing them. Next up, I'm gonna grab my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder in the color Nude. This is S. MP02 and this is pretty much to just set my all the areas that I highlighted so particularly my under eyes and this like real techniques brush um, oh no it's a Zoeva brush in uh, 105 Lux highlight um, and I just literally dab this on gently everywhere I highlighted Next I'm grabbing my bronzer, this is the Chanel Soleil de Tan, it only comes in one shade and I like it, it's like a creamy bronzer but um, like you have to be careful with how much you apply with this. Um, if you guys want a affordable bronzer, I love the Rimmel Sun Bronze bronzer as well, I think that's really good, that's powder though, it's not creamy but does the job probably just as well as this. And I literally just use this Zoeva 101 face to find brush and I literally am going over everywhere that I have bronzed already. As you can see my look is just really like a bronzed natural <laughs> natural um, vibe, like nothing nothing too serious. So when I was away on holiday I ran out of eyebrow pencil and instead of going to the Sephora on my like, Fourth day or whatever, I got really like I'd rather sunbathe or something or just chill because before it was like a walkway. Um, so I basically had this Anastasia clear brow gel and I decided that all I would do, so just make sure you've got no foundation on your brows, is I would like swipe up like this on my brows and give my brows like a really like natural 
look and that's pretty much all I do with my brows. I think if your brows are like recently done then you should be fine. Then I grab my Laura Mercier Sheer Loose Powder and I am just going to dab this on my under eyes. I feel like this makeup look is good if you just don't want something too serious like if you're at the beach like after the beach you want to go for like an early dinner or even in London like after a day of work and you're going out and you kind of just want something to spice things up then I grab this big real techniques brush of fluffer uh, I grab this fluffy real techniques brush and literally brush off my loose powder instantly because my face goes really dry and you guys have eczema or anything like that you'll know that if you leave your sheer loose powder for too long it will dry out your skin like no tomorrow so I literally just use the same brush brush out the powder and all over and it's done then with this steel real techniques brush and the same bronzer i literally just contour down my nose and bring the mirror to this literally just go down the sides so i literally just go like this and this and then i grab a little bit more and i just up on the edge of my nose like that. Then with this angled blush brush and my favourite blush ever which is the Hampton's blush by NYX. I go in and I just smile a bit and then I see where my cheekbones are and I follow up with the blush all the way up my cheeks. I don't I tend not to dip in too much of the blush because I don't want to be too pink. If you ever end up too pink just grab your fluffy brush and go back in again and just go over it. The key to summer is to be really glowy in my opinion. Um, so I grab this NYX Bright Idea in Chardonnay Shimmer Highlight and I go straight down the bridge of my nose. So like that and then I do a dot on the end and I go under my brow bone and here on my cheek bone and I repeat the same on this side, this side, just a little dab there and that's it. And then making sure I don't have a sweaty upper lip, I do this. There we go. I grab my Champagne Pop or C Pop Becca highlighter um, with this really thin Real Techniques brush. I'm going to go over the highlight again. So I literally just dab it lightly, go across on the bridge of my nose. And honestly, I don't care if people can see the line of the highlight because it looks so good from far. Um, but like if you see it from close up, it's a price I'm willing to pay. And if you just gently brush over these things again. So I've got double highlight. Grabbing my sister's Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. I don't recommend sharing mascaras by the way. This was just in my makeup bag, so I'm grabbing it and I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. And lastly, I'm going to finish my lips with something that I got yesterday. It's Sandstorm by NYX and um, it's just a lip liner. I don't know why it's already blunt. I'll show you guys how I line my lips because I get so many questions about if I have a lip filler. So this is my lips, obviously this half is lined, but this is my lips without, this is my lips without being lined, this half. And then this is this side compared to that side. You can see it looks bigger. And then I just turn out the sides. And then if I don't want to be super voluptuous, I will grab this NYX Lingerie Glitter Lip Gloss. So there's two, there's glitter and shimmer. The glitter is so much nicer than the shimmer. And I just put this all over and it kind of makes your lips more 3D. And to complete this look, I will just set it all with the matte finish spray by NYX. So I just grab this. And I just burn it down. 
I don't know, I feel like the first bit's none of it went on my face. Okay, so this is the end of my summery makeup look that I do during the months of summer where I'm a bit more tanned or I want to look a bit more tanned and have a bit more of a natural glowy look. Obviously when I say natural, I say this hypothetically, don't worry guys, all this makeup I know it's not very nat natural, but you know what I mean. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up so I can make more vids like this and so that I know that you guys liked it. Make sure to subscribe to me down below for loads more videos. I don't just do makeup, I do fitness, travel, vlogs. I basically do my life on here. So if you want to join into my life, make me really, really, really happy, then feel free. <laughs> to subscribe will make me really happy if I already said that um, and I will have my socials linked down below but my Instagram is Persian Bunny my Twitter is The Persian Bunny and my snap is Sefi Samai love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video bye